Anne B. asks, is intelligence a thing? Can it be measured? Can it be changed? Are more intelligent people generally more moral? So IQ is kind of bullshit. You can't just measure intelligence, but you can come up with measures of things that have something to do with intelligence and then measure those. That's possible, but no one's done it very well. Intelligence is like sort of a myth. Like the, the whole thing of degrees of intelligence is confused. The way people think about it isn't correct. So the actual thing is people have a mind which can think and it is universal. Like it can think any thought that can be thought. It can learn anything that can be learned. It can compute anything that can be computed. So their, their capability is just like everyone's at 100%. Like they're intelligent as opposed to not intelligent like a rock or a tree. The differences between people are because some people have better methods of thinking. Um, you know, they're wiser. They're better at taking criticism. They're better at brainstorming without suppressing their own thoughts. They're better at facing a problem instead of getting fearful and upset the moment there's a problem because, you know, some people like have a long history of suffering and failure to solve problems and so on. And others have like a long history of success and they're less scared of problems. And there's various reasons for that. And it makes a big difference in terms of how effective people are at thinking. So to the extent intelligence refers to how effective you are at thinking, then it refers to primarily your ideas. You know, do you have good ideas about how to think? How much do you know about how to be objective? How to not be biased? How to break problems down into smaller parts? How to learn things, etc. So intelligence is basically philosophical skill. It's stuff like critical thinking and knowing good methods of looking for patterns versus bad methods of looking for patterns. Knowing good ways of connecting ideas together versus bad ways. Knowing good arguments versus bad arguments and how to create them and how to judge them and so on. Or knowing how to find your errors and correct them. Knowing the better your methods for doing that, the more intelligent you are. That is, the more philosophically skilled, the more effective at thinking. People think a lot of it is like biology and genes and hardware, but uh, it is the vast majority of the sort of differences in intelligence that people observe and think are a big deal are how well your mind is organized, what your ideas are, not, uh, not physical. So yes, it can be changed by, that's what learning philosophy is, learning how to think better. I mean, there's other parts of philosophy, but like the learning how to think better is the most important thing in the field of philosophy. More intelligent people generally are more moral because they're better at thinking about moral issues and they're better at learning things such as, you know, moral ideas, moral philosophies, um, concepts about what to do. And they're, they're more inclined to like actually think about things like at all and, and try to learn about things and like study them and talk to their friends, like talk over an issue. They're more, people who are better at thinking will like have more friends they have better discussions with. So they're gonna like talk through their problems more and, and come to better solutions. They're gonna be better at making their life like not this total tragedy where they're just a bitter cynic and hate everyone. You know, the more you can be effective in life, the more you're gonna have a decent life, which is where you're not gonna be a hateful person because your life is all right.